Welcome to Stamps by Judith and Heather. Um, we're going to get going on some fun sort of men related or men directional cards. We have our hiking boots. This is a new stamp. This and we have a hatchet and a log card. This one I've added things but this is what the original stamp looks like. I'm just going to show you how to put these together and add some of our other interactive things. I'm going to start off with the hiking boots. So let me move this aside. And again, at the end of the video, like last month, um, I have a little color sheet. I will hold this up at the end of the video. There's for the hiking boots. There's for the hatchet cards. You can see those. Here's my hatchet card. I mean, excuse me, my hiking card. Okay, grab a piece of paper. Grab my hiking boots. And I'm going to start off. Ink this guy up. Let's turn our card this way. Apply even pressure. And there are my hiking boots. Now, I want to put my flowers and things behind them. If you can tell, this is dimensional. The hiking boots are actually dimensional on there and so are the rocks. And I do that so I don't really have to mask as much. And I like the little bit of dimension. So I'm going to take my three weed flowers and add those. I'm not going to worry about masking. Some go over the toe of the boot, no big deal. However, I am going to mask one just a little bit shorter than the rest. I just held the piece of paper there and the unwanted portion of the stems is on my piece of paper. Then now I got that portion stamped. I'm going to take up here, stamp my hiking boots again, and I'm going to stamp my rock piles. Before I color everything in, I'm going to grab my fir branch. You'll see there's oops, little pieces of fir branch sticking out in certain areas. And take my piece of paper, cover it up, and my hunter green ink. And add some fir branches around things, blotting it off on a damp paper towel to clean it. Now I'm going to take a couple different colors of Tombow watercolor markers. Again, these are on the list. And I'm going to start off, and I'm not going to color these hiking boots. I'm going to color the second pair that I stamped. Start off coloring with a soft teddy bear brown. that in quickly. And then I'm going to take a darker brown. Here's my teddy bear brown. Here's my darker brown. I'm going to actually pick up my darker brown with my teddy bear brown marker. And shade. This does not hurt my light marker at all to do this. Some shading in boot area and the tongue of the boots. Do that. I'm going to take my dark marker and add the deeper shadows. And the creases of the leather would be one boot shading another. I want to grunge them up a bit, so I'm going to take a khaki color and add a khaki color in there. That just makes them look a little more grungy. And then just a little bit more grunge. I'm going to grab a green and add 
little bit of green around the edges, like any <laughs> moss is growing on your boots. And then I'm going to grab a darker gray and color in the sole of the boot. So I have my boots colored. Step away from that for just a moment. I'm going to go back to this original stamped section and add a little bit of light gray to my rocks around my boots, to the ground. I'm going to grab my green, add some green to the stems of my flowers. Give me a little bit of green to where my fir branches are. Grab a blue. Put some blue in there, blue on my rocks. Okay. A little bit of the teddy bear brown underneath to ground it. And then for my flowers, I'm just grabbing a yellow bright yellow flowers. Do that. Pick up a little bit of my golden color. color and add just a little bit more. And then I'm going to do one more thing to the flowers and the flowers will be done. I'm going to grab that dark brown and color the centers of these making them kind of like Black Eyed Susans. Got those. Now go back up here to my rocks. Throw some gray on my rocks. Maybe a little dark gray if you want. You can see how precisely I'm really worrying about coloring these. Adding a little bit of blue. Blue up into my grass a little bit. and it doesn't matter if you get green on your rocks because then it's just like grass or moss, excuse me. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to grab the teddy bear brown. Just go underneath the rocks. Okay, so now I have all my components of my hiking card. So I'm going to take now, there's my original card that I'm working on, and I am going to cut out my hiking boots. And I'm not going to worry about saving the laces or cutting around the laces. Just for time saving sake, I'm not going to get too detailed on my cutting. At least not right now. Okay, and I am cutting off the rocks. Alright, so there's my hiking boots. I'm going to go over here, cut this off, and cut out around my rocks. 
again, just for time saving sake, I'm not going to get too intricate. You can see the cards on the website if you want to look at them a little more close up. There's one rocks. Quickly cut out the other one. battling scrap paper. Alright. Just about got it. Okay. There we go. So I have two sets of rocks and my hiking boots. You can take these guys and put a little bit of double stick on the back. Like that, and then you would stick that down and have your dimension, these guys as well. You can place them however you want and you would have the rocks. And then you'd add your dots and flowers. This is a little fuzzy flower top. Add that in there. And add dots and blue. Softens the whole thing. And that would be your hiking card. And then the boot prints around it are just these two fun stamps, and you can stamp them all the way around a border of a card. Okay, now we have the hatchet and the log card. That is this stamp. And you will notice my logs are bigger than the stamp. We do not have a separate log stamp. I simply took and stamped this one multiple times and created the effect of multi-log, if that's a phrase. With that, oops, I didn't put my lid back on my ink pad. I'm going to take my log and hatchet. In my paper this way again. And stamp it down. There's my log and hatchet. Now for the extra ones, I'm going to take, stamp a good solid one again. There we go. Now this time when I ink it, I'm only going to worry about inking the log part. I'll do that a couple times. You'll get a little residue of hatchet in the shadow, in the stamping, but I really don't need to ink the hatchet. So there I have a couple logs. All right. Now just like before, I have my stamp. I'm going to add some of my stick weeds. My foliage behind it before I add the images on top. So let me cover this up. Grab my hunter green ink. And take and stamp some stick weeds sticking out here and there. And I'm not worrying about the fact that I got stick weeds on my log. So I'm going to take this one up here and color it. And I have the colors for the hatchet on this side. And I will show those again at the end. I'm going to grab my light brown. Now for this one, I'm only coloring the log. Go down. 
quickly add color. So I have my log. I'm going to color the logs, or partial log, actually the swirly part of this, these two logs, or the rings part of these two logs. Kind of color in assembly line. If you're doing a bunch of cards, that's the fastest way to get things done. I'm going to grab my dark brown. And just like with the hiking boots, I'm picking up a little bit of the dark brown with the light brown marker. Go over here and do the same thing. Swirls, get some shading. I'm going to grab dark brown, go in where the inside of the bark would be, inside the rings, bottom, where the hatchet sticks into the log on this one. Kind of just give it a little bit of dimension, the rings. Make them a little bit different. You don't want every one the same. I grab a khaki color, age it a little bit, okay. Now down here, before I cut anything out, I'm going to color the hatchet part. So the handle would be brown. Pick up the dark brown. Don't forget the end of the hatchet. It's going to be noticeable that it's sticking out. I'm going to take, add some brown underneath. Now for my butterfly, I want it to be kind of bright. So I'm going to grab sort of a bright purpley magenta color. Because you notice there is a little tiny delicate butterfly sitting on the hatchet. And I'm going to pick up a little bit of the dark magenta with my light marker and shade it. So I get the shading. Then I'll take my dark and go back in and add where the shadows are. Okay. Grab the blue just to change up the tone a little bit. Before I cut out my logs and glue them down, I'm going to add a little bit of green. A little bit of green in here to a flower. <coughs> Excuse me. Sticking out. Okay. Always got to have more than one color. Pardon me. Do that. Then I'm going to add a little bit, and you'll notice I'm kind of going back and forth what's going to be sticking out on each one. A little bit of orange. I always want to have more than one color. Go back in and make these little cone flowers brown on the top. Now we have this one colored and those colored. For time saving sake, again, oops, before I do that, I forgot to color the hatchet part, the blade part of the hatchet. So I'm going to use a soft gray and then I'm going to take my dark gray and pick up a little bit of the dark gray with my light gray marker to shade the blade. And then I'm going to take red or the tip of the blade. So then I have my hatchet colored. Almost forgot that. Okay, now I'm going to go in here. 
this back and I'm going to cut out my first log. And I'm not going to get overly detailed on my cutting out, but I am going to take and cut the hatchet, the uncolored hatchet, off. and I'm going to cut off the uncolored flowers on the edge of this. There's my first log. So that would go there. Now for the other logs, I'm going to take and just kind of cut them out, just parts of them. them a little bit more once you decide where you want your logs to be. Don't want to necessarily have them all the same height. Okay, so I'm going to take my pieces parts of my logs, just using a glue stick. Glue it down. To the other side. Move that one down. Then I want my main log to be a little dimensional. So I'm going to take some double stick, put some double stick foam tape on the back of it. Peel that off, stick it down, and now my log is dimensional, my hatchet's behind it. Now the card has the rocks on it, and for the sake of saving time, I'm going to grab the rocks from our other card. You would cut them out and glue them down, or put dimensional tape down, and then you can add your other little elements. Like this is a little flower top. So I'm going to take these guys and add them to our stick weeds. Down there. But you would add those to wherever you needed your stick weeds to have some flowers. Clean it off on a damp paper towel. You could add more stick weeds here and there if you wanted. That. And then you would add your fun other fun little elements on the top of our handle is a little owl. We got some little mushrooms tucked in there. There's the owls and the mushrooms. On the other card I didn't get a chance to show you. There's a little turtle, so you add those other fun little elements in there. This would make a great Father's Day card or retirement. And you need to remember, these are our colors for the hatchet card. Tombow watercolor markers, so have the colors on the butterfly, cheeks on the owl. These are the hiking cards, colors, colors on the boot. The grass colors, the sole, the shading. It's the one thing I didn't show you. And this you want to add to all your cards. See the last thing. We take our gray shadow and put it around things, and that pops your image up off the page. But these cards and things are great ways to add interactive stamps to create your own fun Father's Day guy retirement kind of cards.